This man owns the world's largest rhino breeding farm. John Hume believes what he calls open trade is the only way to stop poachers slaughtering them. He has their horns cut every week to prevent poachers killing the animals to steal them. At around $60,000 per kilo, rhino horns are highly prized in Asia, fetching more than gold by weight. And Hume says he has to spend $175,000 every month guarding his animals. What I'm doing here is not sustainable for me. The cost is too huge. There is only one way that I will pay for this cost. That is to sell my rhino horn and to use that money to protect my rhino. So to me, the people who are stopping me from selling my rhino horn and protecting my rhino may as well be joined with the poachers because they will kill my rhino. South Africa is home to around 20,000 rhinos. That's around 80% of the worldwide population. But in the last decade, the killing of these endangered animals has skyrocketed by more than 9,000%, with poaching syndicates slaughtering more than 6,000 rhinos. Many Asian consumers use rhino horn medicinally, believing it can cure illnesses and boost virility. Hume is now holding the world's first online auction of horns, which can be accessed by bidders from China and Vietnam. But that auction is raising concerns. John Hume's agenda is about profit, and he's, um, he's exacerbated the, the loopholes that we have in our law to, to trade and farm in rhinos. Our rhinos should be protected rather than farmed, commodified and, um, you know, traded. Uh, it's absolutely outrageous. Existing regulations and opposition from conservationists have not halted the slaughter of rhinos. And as the debate rages on, this species continues to face an insecure future. Arabella Munro, TRT World.